Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Koji. So today we are going to talk about how to stabilize your shaky footage using the free Sony software, which is the Catalyst Browse. The first step is going to be downloading from the Catalyst Browse website. It is free. And also make sure you select the correct operating system. For my case, I'm using Windows. And then after that, install it. And then run the software. Alright guys, so right now we are in the Catalyst Browse. So here are some clips I want to stabilize. I just drag them to the Catalyst Browse software. So the first thing you can see, we can play back here. And also there's a lot of metadata here. And also you can adjust your color here. So, but that's not what we are going to do today. We're going to go to stabilize this image. So in order to stabilize your footage, you must have an icon here. It means contain stabilization metadata. So now we will stabilize this footage of me walking into the train to analyze. First thing you do is to analyze the footage. Just two seconds. It is then stabilized with the suggested cropping amount. So you can see the before and after here. The suggested amount is 10%. But of course, we sometimes do not need that much. We can just use 0 0.05. And right now we can export this. So the first thing you need to do is Go to here and we will press the optimize image quality so let's export i'm exporting to the desktop and wait for it to render it will take some time so that's it how to use the catalyst browse it will only applicable to latest camera like sony zv1 zv10 the a7c and also the a6700 and more it will not be applicable to those a6000s a 6400 because this camera does not record gyro data, whereas our ZV-E10 here does record gyro data. Since you guys are already here, why not we take a look at with stabilization, active stabilization, and also without any stabilization, how the Catalyst Pulse will process all this footage. So first of all, we are going to take a footage which is without any stabilization. As you can see, the footage can be stabilized quite smoothly with only one compromise which is the clarity and the sharpness of the entire image will be reduced. On the second scenario, as you can see, we are recording using the optical steady shot which is the OSS built-in with the kit lens, the 16 to 50 kit lens. As you can see, all this clip here doesn't have the icon, which means contains metadata for stabilization. So we just couldn't stabilize all those footage, which is recorded using the OSS function within the kit lens. Of course, we are using the Sony ZV-10 right now. Then on the third scenario, we are recording using the active stabilization with the Sony zv 10 As you can see, the footage still contains gyro metadata. So let's try to stabilize this footage here. And you can see it's a bit smoother than the active stabilization itself. There's one important thing I need to mention about the stabilization. So if you are using a camera with IBIS, which is in-body image stabilizations like the Sony A7C, if I'm filming with a Sony A7C, whether it has the OSS or non-OSS lens, when I put inside the PC, I can always manage to post-stabilize the A7C footage, which means that we do not need to turn off the stabilization of the A7C and then only post-process using the Catalyst Browse, which is completely different than the Sony ZV-10, which we have to turn off the OSS function in order to record gyro data. While for the A7C, which has IBIS built-in, whether or not you use any OSS lens, with or without OSS lens, it still records gyro data, which means you can still post-process it using the Catalyst Browse and stabilize your footage. And guys, there are 8 things we need to keep in mind when we are using Catalyst Browse. It is not perfect. Some footage, you might not be able to stabilize it. The first, it does not stabilize high frame rate. 100 frame and 120 frame per second does not contain gyro data for your camera. Even the Sony ZV-10 or the A7C, you cannot use it with the Catalyst Browse. The second thing is that, Catalyst Browse will soften your image quality. It will cause you to reduce clarity and also sharpness. So choosing a gimbal might still be a better choice than using the Catalyst Browse. Increase your shutter speed. When we are using Catalyst Browse, we have to increase our shutter speed to 1 over 80 or 1 over 125. It is much better than staying at 180 degree shutter rule. The reason being is to reduce the motion artifact. And then Catalyst Browse does not stabilize 10-bit 422 image. 
unless you are going to choose the paid version which is the Catalyst Prepare, it will let you stabilize 10 bit 422 footage. And the fifth thing is storage consuming. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I face the dilemma whether I want to retain the stabilized footage or I want to retain the unstabilized footage. If you are going to store two footage, it will cost you, you know, a lot of gigabyte. And number six is the program is not so stable. So a lot of time it will suddenly crash on me, which I do not know what happens. And also you have to stabilize your clip one by one. You cannot do it in bulk unless you purchase the Catalyst Prepare version. But I can tell you one thing is that we can actually queue up the Catalyst Pro stabilization. For example, if you are going to stabilize one footage and then I do not need to wait for it to fully stabilize, I can directly move on to another clips and then stabilize the other clips. So it will just queue up. So after you queue up everything, you can just rest and let the PC run itself to stabilize all the clips. If you run your footage through Catalyst Browse, it will somehow help you to reduce the rolling shutter so your footage can be much smoother. So guys, that's it for the Sony Catalyst Browse system. It really is a reliable software and it has saved me from shaky footage countless times. So I really like this software even though it has cost me a lot of time to stabilize all these footage but it works well and reliable so I like this software and some more it is free. And for the paid version of Catalyst Browse, it is called Catalyst Prepare which costs you $150 dollars around 150 dollars a year it also come with a lot of other sony feature that you can use it and yeah guys so that's it for today thank you for watching i hope this video is helpful so feel free to give me a like or subscribe thank you very much bye bye